Hello guys, in today's tutorial basics part 2 we will be dealing with some problems especially these three problems So this is pin support and this is roller support and the beam span is 4 meters. This can be done in two ways. Considering A, A, B, C as a whole beam or else A, B as one beam and B, C as one beam. So let us begin. Initially start Stata Pro. New project. Select plane. Since it is 2D give some name the units are foot and kilo pounds kips in the sense kilo pounds select next add beam finish select to the front view now our beam is of 4 meter span so we will do, we'll be doing by two methods initially we will take the whole 4 meter span as single beam element press escape switch off the grid define this size to the beam which is rectangle the material should be concrete or you can keep anything else add close select this add beam assign to selected beam assign Yes. In order to select the nodes, you can press Shift plus K. You can see Shift plus K. In order to get node numbers, you can press Shift plus N. Shift plus N. And for beam number, Shift plus B. Now we'll be assigning support which we need to create pin support add fixed but assign pin support to one side assign yes assign this roller support to the other side assign yes now going to loads add load case details add add close load case one add which is a member load which is minus four kips minus sign is because the load is acting in downward direction and since we have taken it as a whole beam single beam element so you need to define the length d1 will be d1 is the starting distance from one corner which is minus which is 2 and d2 will be the end distance which is 4 add plus now we need to assign to the beam see the load gets assigned scale it now you need to analyze this analyze run analysis save The analysis goes on running. Done. We can go to push processing mode and see the bending moment by rolling the mouse wheel and selecting control button. Or else you can see the bending moment. Shear force. In order to view the deflection value, select results view value beam results maximum resultant annotate in this way we can see the maximum resultant the same beam can be divided into two parts of two beam elements 
we will be doing this that too so please select new file plane give some name select foot yellow pound next ok add beam finish <laughs> select to front view now select up to 2 feet 1 beam and up to 4 feet 1 beam S press escape switch off the grid you can see the nodes node numbers by pressing shift plus n beam numbers by pressing shift plus b now assigning the size add close assign to the whole two beams assign yes now we need to assign the supports which is pinned support add and the other one is a roller support here roller support is fixed but and we release in fx and mz add support assign to one node assign yes assign to the other end of node other end of beam ok now load definitions load case details add add close load case 1 add since it is the uniformly distributed load uniform force which is minus 4 here you, do, you don't need to give the distances because the beam element is separately designed add close select this load and select the second beam assign to the selected beam assign yes now scale the load by pressing this icon now analyze and print add close analyze in menu bar run analysis save analysis runs on done post processing mode ok you can view the deflection and you in order to view the value view value beam results maximum resultant annotated here you get two maximum resultants in beam 1 and beam 2 this way you can see the bending moment values too by going to view values beam results and rotate you can see the maximum bending moment values too now we will be going to the other problem this is a pin support and roller support and the distance is total of 18 feet new file plane foot kilo pounds next ok add beam finish select to front view <coughs> so 4 feet 6 feet 4 feet 4 feet initially we will edit the grid 18 ok now 4 feet 6 feet 4 feet 4 feet press escape switch off the grid assign the size which is defined property 0.45 by 0.3 add close select the entire beams assign the support which is pin support and roller support effects and mz select the support at the second node assign to selected nodes assign yes select this support to the end node assign assign yes so you can see the supports are assigned now come coming to loads and if loads 
लोड केस डिटेल्स ऐड ऐड क्लोज लोड केस डिटेल्स ऐड नोडल लोड विच इज माइनस ट्वेंटी किप्स ऐड एंड मेम्बर लोड विच इज वन लेसेंस माइनस वन एंड क्लोज सो दिस माइनस ट्वेंटी यूजिंग नोड कर सर सिलेक्ट द नोड अजाइन टू सिलेक्टेड नोड अजाइन यस एंड यूनिफॉर्मली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड लोड सेलेक्ट द बीम कर सर सेलेक्ट द बीम्स यू रिक्वायर बाई सेलेक्टिंग कंट्रोल अजाइन टू सेलेक्टेड बीम अजाइन यस स्केल दिस लोड्स नाउ यू नीड टू एनालाइज इट एनालाइज एंड प्रिंट एड क्लोज एनालाइज एंड एनालाइसिस से Done. You can go to post processing mode. Press OK. Maximize this window. Select deflection. You can see the values also can be seen as there are four beams, four maximum values. <coughs> so, coming to the next problem. which is similar to the above problem will be done as a homework you can view it in the video this is the end of the tutorial thank you